Today, I'm showing you all the goodies that I got from Dollar Tree and Michaels from several different shopping trips. So, let's get into it. The first thing I got was these chalkboard tags. Um, they come in a six piece and you can write on them and I plan on using them for crafts and I think they look good on gift packages and other things like that. I also bought this pack of googly eyes. It's 125 of them. They come in various sizes and I plan on using these for probably kids crafts which I feature on my website beancreates.com. You can go over there to check it out. Next, I got this twist tie with cutter. It, is, it has two spools and it's in the garden section at Dollar Tree. This will come in handy for making wreaths, tying things together, um, putting floral on craft projects and things like that. Um, I got these. These are mechanical pencils. Um, I bought these for my son for school. It's six of them. They have comfort grip. You can refill them and they have three leads in each pencil. These I bought for myself. Eight ballpoint pens. They come in various rainbow colors. They have comfort grip and easy clip retract. This is cotton twine from Dollar Tree. Um, it is 420 feet and I just thought this was a good value. I can use it for, I don't know, we'll see. I saw it and I was like, well, I should probably get it. I can use it for something. These are spring napkins. Um, they're 28 in a pack, 10 by 10 napkins. This one is a butterfly print and this one has a hummingbird print. I bought these because I'm probably gonna try decoupaging something with them so stay tuned for that and i just thought these were like really cute for spring so when i'm done with my craft projects we'll probably be using these for dinner the next thing i got was this decorative nautical rope nine and a half feet um i saw this and i wanted to get it because i figured this would probably be good if i ever decide to make anything of the farmhouse style you can always use some decorative rope for signs or for wreaths or just about anything, so I just picked it up just in case. Um, I also got this all-purpose caulk. You can use it on tubs, sinks, windows, trim, and more. I'm gonna be using, for, using it for crafting to fill in different holes for projects. Um, it says it's odorless, paintable, and it's for interior and exterior. This next thing I got was for my son. Lately, he's been really interested in growing his own vegetables. So when I saw this at Dollar Tree, I knew I had to get it for him. You can grow up to 10 pounds of to tomatoes, grow virtually anywhere, anytime, and it's perfect for indoors and outdoors. The new way to grow tomatoes, all you have to do is you take this tomato rocket and you put it inside of some soil and just water and wait for it to grow. So that's pretty much it. As soon as I gave it to him, he was so excited. He went outside and planted it in his pot and he's been watching it every day and watering it, waiting on it to grow. I'll probably include some footage of it, even though nothing has happened yet, just so you can see. Nolly, you wanna be in here too? <laughs> Oops. Next, I got this patriotic decor. Um, it's cute, but I'm probably gonna take it off the burlap and use the stars, just as decorations for themselves. But if you wanna hang them, they come with a little loop for you to hang them. They also have a, bowl, a burlap bow. But for me, I'm probably gonna cut it off and use it for something else. Uh, this one says USA. Um, the same thing here. I am going to definitely um, cut these letters off and use them for decoration. Memorial Day, 4th of July, all of these patriotic holidays are coming up. So this is really a cute decor piece that you can take apart and make it your own. So there's that. Um, also, for patriotic decor, I bought these glitter corals in red and blue. 
I bought two of each, two red, two blue. And I'm also going to use these for some really cute, fun, patriotic pieces. So I don't know, I might add these to centerpieces or wreaths or I'm really not sure yet, but I'm gonna find something cute for these. So. Oh my. Glitter, 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 rocking everywhere. Um, the next thing I got was these mums from Dollar Tree. I thought these were really pretty flowers. Red, white, and blue also. They're really pretty, they're festive, and they'll go either in a vase or in my wreath with these. Ooh, look at that. Can you see that? Super cute. These are gonna look good together for a patriotic situation. I got this floral foam, two pieces, 4.8 inches by 0.75 inches. I got this craft artisan floral foam ring. I got this sign. It says Monday should be optional. I will definitely paint over this and change this to something that applies to me. It's cute, but I'm gonna change it and make it my own, so you'll see that. I got this sign. It says, Adventure is Calling. I'm definitely gonna change this up. This color does not go with my decor, so I will be switching it up and doing a craft project with it. Maybe I'll make something for the bathroom, who knows. And this one, I'm also probably gonna take off these little pieces. It says, Great Memories End With Dirty Clothes. Yeah, if this if I could take this off and not leave marks on this, I'm definitely gonna switch this up. This was only a dollar as well, obviously, because it's what Dollar Tree, duh. Alright, so I got these felt rolls from the Crafters Square. I got four of them. So there's black, purple, red, green. Obviously, you can never have enough felt. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I think I might make uh maybe I'll just make some felt flowers. I'm not sure, but yeah. You can't have enough felt. So I'm gonna find, I'll find something for them, but it's always good to have those around when you need them. This is craft bead storage. I'm gonna use these to store little uh, odds and ends, maybe googly eyes or some beads. I'll use these for my uh, craft storage to keep my room organized. Wooden dowels from Crafter Square, 10 in a pack. Then I got this uh, adhesive. This is basically like contact papering. It is shelf and drawer liner it's washable easy to apply and remove i bought the wood contact paper and i was able to cover a science fair board with the wood contact paper to make it look like a presidential podium or presidential lectern someone told me so yeah if you haven't seen that post go check it out on my website and yeah so i'm definitely going to use this for something cute obviously these are wood planks it is six of these in here 7.1 inches by 2.8 inches so yeah two canvases stretch canvas 100 percent natural cotton six inches by eight inches i got two of these crates just little plain decorative crates i bought this heart back in february and i never got a chance to use it so i figured i'd include it in this haul you don't have to use hearts just for Valentine's Day, so I can still use this. Maybe make a craft about your family or about your pets or any any person that you love. You can still use this Mother's Day or heart would be good for that. So, yeah, there's lots of uses for this, not just for Valentine's Day. Um, this is a ribbon. I purchased this. It's black ribbon with a little bit of silver decorations. Four yards. It's a wire edge ribbon and i just thought this was pretty it looks like it will go well for like a wedding gift or something like that anniversary gift it's just good to have lots of different choices for your ribbons this is also another thing i bought back in february that i didn't get a chance to use yet so i figured i'd include it craft bottle for valentine's day 4.1 inches tall and it's just cute it's like a little mason jar I'm, i would definitely use this so many ways to use this so yeah it's a little I believe this is plastic, which is always good so you don't break it. I bought some Celebrated Tool Pink and Turquoise. Well, let's see. Is it called pink? It's 100% polyester, 6 inches by 20 yards. Some matte Mod Podge. 
water-based glue sealer and finish. This is yarn, soft and shiny. The color is Teenage Dream. I got this yarn because I just thought it was cute. It was giving me unicorn vibes. I bought these three fabrics back in February and I never got a chance to use them. These were from the Black History Collection. Um, I like these fabrics because the colors were real bold and bright and they all coordinate well with each other. They, you can't beat this price if you can see it was only a dollar fifty nine so I thought that was a good deal so yeah these are really cute and I was glad that they had something for black history I can use these for so many things because hey I'm always black so I can use these for black history I can use these for you know anything I want to do with like Africa or a lot of different stuff I'm definitely gonna use these I'm gonna keep these in my stash I will find a good use for these I bought three rings these are floral hoops by Ashlyn. So I can make wreaths with these. These will be cute for uh, small wreaths or medium wreaths, but large wreath. I can put these together to make some type of chandelier. Um, yeah, I just really wanted these because I thought this would be cute for some kind of wall hanging or something cute to go on my door. I bought these Craft Smart markers. They are oil-based paint pens. All you have to do is shake them, push them, and write with them. It's really cool so when you're doing little decorations on things, you can be more precise than you could with a paintbrush. Yeah guys, that's it for my haul. If you enjoyed it, hit like and subscribe so you never miss another video from me. And until next time, I hope you add a little more creativity to the world and keep coming back because you never know what I'll be creating next. Bye guys. Thank you.